I'm a big believer that if something feels good and it's getting you a result, giving you a return on your time, then continue to do it. You know, don't overthink things. If yoga feels good, I'm gonna do yoga because it feels good. If squatting at a moderate tempo at a specific weight feels good, I'm gonna do that. If I need to rest because my body's gonna perform better the next day, I need to do that. So whatever is making your body feel good or responding to, um, you need to be really in tune with that. A lot of this stuff is intuitive when you're trying to get in shape. It's not just like going balls to the wall every single day and, and, and like crushing your body all the time. I, I found myself being able to grow more and, and become healthier over time as I've gained experience uh, by doing less and I really think that like you need to do the least amount of work possible create to create the most amount of stress to get the result you're looking for I know that sounds kind of counterintuitive but you need to do the least amount of work and create the right amount of stress to get the right result that you're looking for if the hey good morning gang it's KG here rough to be above TV it's a Friday and you know what that means it's yoga time I've been going to yoga for literally like the past three months every single Friday I've been blocking it out in my schedule because I know that I need it in my life Bikram yoga uh, purple yoga in downtown Florentine I used to practice yoga I don't know, maybe like seven, eight years ago, then I kind of got out of practice because the person who was teaching the class that I enjoyed moved. So when she moved, I basically stopped um, going to yoga. Um, some a few of my clients, Maria and Rocio, they recommended that I try out purple yoga. I've been doing yoga for the last three months and it's completely, its I don't want to say completely changed my fitness, but it's done more so for me from a mental aspect and, and a physical aspect as well, like just, getting more rotation in my spine, more flexibility. It's really, really helping me cognitively as well as far as reducing my stress. I think everybody needs to take a moment out of their 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 busy schedule, their busy week and, and recenter themselves. And that's what really what yoga is for myself. It's a moment, an hour and 10 minutes where I don't have to think about anybody else but myself and I'm sure you guys can attest to that. There's a lot of times in life where you're giving a lot to other people, whether it's at your workplace, your family. Um, and, and sometimes we don't set a time aside for ourselves to where we can just focus and be present in the moment. And I think that's where a lot of like peace and, and happiness comes from because I'm kind of always on that search for that, um, is being present in the moment. And when you're in a 100 degree room, with other like-minded people standing on one foot uh, and that foot is like behind your back and you have to hold on to it and you're dripping sweat and your foot's burning and your core is aching. Those are moments where I find peace. <laughs> Every Friday, 10.30, Purple Yoga has, has been like the ritual and it's not gonna stop anytime soon because I'm getting such such like a good return on my time. So much is benefiting just from that that hour and 10 minutes. Um, it gives me a chance to close out my week and it gives me a chance to start looking ahead for the next week and kind of focus on, you know, it could be anything. People that I need to spend time with, family, friends, clients I need to touch base with, um, or just let my mind completely wander in a 100 degree heat with my foot behind my head and my ass crack dripping sweat. And that's where I'm most happy, is when my ass is dripping with sweat. Uh, so, off to yoga, we go. That corner was hot. That was more sweat than I normally sweat, guys. I apologize. Yoga's complete. We're on our way to Rudabagors. We're gonna go get ourselves, a, what is it, a strawberry chicken? Strawberry sensation salad. The strawberry sensation salad, which I'm gonna throw in right here. But yoga is complete. You know, I was thinking, I think the one thing I really like about yoga, and also as I slowly become an older man, when I do yoga, it's difficult but I don't feel like I'm beating the crap out of my body. I'm like really obsessed with getting in shape while doing the least amount of work possible. And yoga delivers that for me on some weird, weird plane. Whew. But we're gonna go get some food. Yoga complete. Hopefully you guys enjoy the vlog today. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new around here. I'm KG, this is Rough To Be Buff TV. We are yogad out. Good boy.